Hey guys, so we're here down in the meadow house. It's a bit of a construction zone here and all of Saunders' tools are down here and we finished up relatively early today and we still have some daylight. So we figured we would dress up some of our bird houses here. So we ended up getting some bird houses. My dad made some bird houses, Saunders made some bird houses, but you know, they're a little lackluster. Um, one of the things that we got when we went to the Ithaca Reuse Center, I'll show you, all of these cedar shingles, and we figured, oh my gosh, we could actually use these to make the bird boxes look really nice and rustic. I started on this one yesterday. <laughs> That's my artwork with it. So yeah, this is just some cedar shingles on the roof, but you could see it was just like basic wood. And then this is a robin's house, so they'll put probably their nest right in here. They like to have some kind of protected awning or overhanging for that. And then we actually saw some eastern bluebirds kind of dinkering around some of our other bluebird houses. So we know that they're in the area and they're starting to want to come and nest. I think probably within maybe one or two weeks, we'll start seeing our tree swallows. So tree swallows and Eastern bluebirds like to nest in the same size hole, and you often will see them competing for nest boxes. So we just want to doll these up and get them into the landscape, oh, I don't know, like this weekend so that we make it in time for the migratory birds to come back and scope out some new homes. So we love bird watching. <laughs> I love bird watching. I don't know about Sonder and Joey, but I love bird watching. So the more houses that we could Give them the better. Then you order the screws. I'll put them in. Okay. Just make sure you order twice as much. I knew I would need more after I saw that first batch of screws. I'm like, okay. Order some more. All right, voila, let's see it. Board and batten. Cedar board and batten. With a little rough edge upgrade. in the front. Don't necessarily like how this turned out, but no. it's fine. You're not gonna see it most of the time if this is low hanging. Yeah. And then you take the screw out and you can open up the door. This thing will take a beating and then it will look more like, it'll look more naturalized or something. Yeah, it'll start, can, it'll start graying up, I think. Could we find like a nice edge? Maybe we could, this could work. Yeah, that could work. Just gotta put some glue on this and then it should stick.
I like the um, grain on that. See the yeah. grain in the middle? Flip that around. So now it really gets thin at the top, so yeah. it blends in with the roof. Yeah. Okay. Show us the work. I need one more ventilation hole on this side. But yeah, a couple cedar shingles, find some awkward shapes, get some copper nails, and it looks really great. Yeah, it looks cool. I can't wait until it grays up too. Weathers. Weathers in the weather. Okay, so. This is more of a modern art piece. Okay, I really dolled this one up with uh, some lichen and some arborvitae right here. <laughs> we'll see how they like it. I like how 3D it is. Trying to put this birdhouse up before those birds move in which is really early in the season. So I don't want them to move in into a broken birdhouse. So we're gonna replace it with this one we made yesterday. Home renovation. So yeah, that doesn't look good. And I looked at it and it's beyond repair because, because of this. It's basically falling apart, and um, it's ready. This has been a home for many years, that's for sure. So we're gonna try to take it off here. The tree swallows live in here, right? Yeah, so tree swallows, and they're really cute because they sit like right here on the top of the birdhouse, and you can get really close to them, and they're just kind of sitting there with their tuxedo on, looking over the pond, eating all the mosquitoes, so we want to welcome them. But yeah, as you can see here, this is just really, it's in really terrible shape. So we're gonna take this off. We're gonna try to straighten this pole, whatever it takes. We'll have to probably dig out some of the frozen ground. And then uh, we'll put this new one up and it should be good. So there's a snow squall coming out of nowhere. Got an alert on our phone. But you know, a birdhouse has gotta get done. I don't know what else we can do this, so. What I'm gonna do is, this is loose now, uh, by just digging it up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna add these supports for a little while. And then uh, we fill this back in and really compact the soil. And then once we feel like it's, it's really steady in there. We can take the supports away. So I just made these little sticks, these spikes, and we'll see if uh, we can drive those in the ground and then attach that to. Let's try over here. Yeah, now it goes really easily. It looks really cold, but if you're working outside, Easily stay warm. So look, now this is super stable. And then we can fill this back in and just let the soil really compress there and then We'll take it away. So should we put a birdhouse on? Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's, get, let's go inside. All right, so we just got caught in a snowstorm. 
before we were able to finish it. So now we can actually finish this. Um, so what I did is uh, I just dug around the post a little bit and then uh, made sure it's plumb again. And then I just hooked up these cross braces and then when, once it gets warmer out, I'll fill this hole properly. Maybe I'll put in some, uh, some metal cross braces in the soil to keep this post from falling over. And then uh, we'll take these away and then hopefully it will stay up and it won't fall over again. So uh, I guess the last step is mounting this little birdhouse on it. So how tall should we put it? Should we put it here? It is kind of nice, oh uh, yeah. They like to sit on the top, so. There we go, a new home.